Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Golden Goal Show. Extra time, where we talk about extra stuff and extra time. And look at this beautiful stadium where Chelsea won the Champions League final. I'm going to talk about it. I mean, I already did talk about it in the last episode, but I'm still crying. I'll hold back my tears. But thank you, guys. I am here today with a special guest, the man, the myth, the Liverpool player himself. Maybe, honestly, a title contestant for the Blonde Ola in the next coming years. Xander, how are you doing today, my friend? Oh, you know, I'm just putting in that work to win it here in the upcoming years. You know me. Of course, of course. And we know your secret, you know, you're, you're secretly Mohamed Salah. Can, can you just confirm that for us now? Obviously. Okay. Well, I, I just, I, the people were asking in the comments. Everybody was asking. It, it was just yeah. a question of the century. So, yeah, I had just to put it down right there. Goat. Excuse me? Who wouldn't want to be the GOAT? We're not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> but thank you guys for joining in. And uh, welcome to the show again. We are talking today about the European Championship and the Copa America. So let's get down to the Copa America. Okay, Xander, in your opinion, looking at each group, which one do you think is going to be the most difficult? Uh, I think it's probably going to be Group F. Yep. <laughs> Hard time anyone else competing with that. Yep, exactly. <laughs> do you think by a slight of chance, Hungary is possibly going to get it out of the group? <laughs> Ooh, uh, yeah, they got a great one or two percent chance. Yeah, well, one or two is yeah, that's, that's actually good. But okay, who do you think Group A? Do you think is gonna get out? Let me let me just let me let me just um get your opinion. Who do you think on Group A is gonna get out? Uh, probably go Italy. Italy? Okay. Oh, let me put a star right there. And okay, so actually, let me say two two ones out of it. Out of the whole group A, what do you think? Uh, if I had to pick another, I'd go Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland, yeah. They, Italy's looking very strong this year. They have Donnarumma in goal. They have Jorginho. They have Emerson. They have um, Verratti. They have a Chilean. They have uh, so many people, honestly, from like the Serie A and, and just around the world. So, But I don't think Switzerland, honestly, for me, I'm going to put like Italy first. I'll, I'll put a star right there by Italy because I think they're going to qualify. And I think Turkey, because they always do good in tournaments for some reason. They always like outbeat their – because when um, I believe in the World Cup, they beat France, I think, one time in the group. And I think Turkey might do well. I don't know any – I mean, I do know some of the players, but I don't want to butcher their names and offend some people because not yeah. nice. But I honestly, yeah, Italy and Turkey, just my guess, but – Hey, Switzerland could come through. They have the goat Shakiri. So, <laughs> what a Liverpool <laughs> legend. Okay, Group B. Who 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 are we thinking? Who are we uh, thinking for Group B? I think Belgium for sure. Yeah, De Bru- I mean, De Bruyne is he going to be out or in for the oof? Well, but, hopefully he'll be in. Hopefully he'll be in. Be in. And then I guess. Russia as my other one. Russia. Okay. Okay. That's that's, that's fair. For me, yeah, say Belgium and uh, I want to say Denmark. Mm-hmm. But they don't like their players are getting old. Maybe if this was like your the past Euro because they have Christian Eriksen, they have Schmeichel and goal. Mm-hmm. Um they have a couple other players too, but I'd have to agree Russia. Russia, they were in the last World Cup they were strong. They no one expected them to go that far, but <laughs> I think they advanced to the. I want to say the quarterfinals, but I may be wrong. But they did. They did great. They did. Okay, uh, Group C. Who are we thinking? Uh, I'm thinking Ukraine as one. Ukraine. Yep. Oh. Okay. Okay. And what do you think for the second one? Uh, I'm between Austria and Netherlands. Ne- it could be either. Really, Netherlands, the, the team that has like so many good like young players and stuff do, do you know anything about like the netherlands squad right now no they they basically have like like young players that are like really really good they they have like the next virgil van dyke over there who actually plays for this team called chelsea but he plays in our youth squad but he i don't know do you think virgil van dyke's gonna be back for the euros or do you think he's not gonna be in it i don't think he'll be back Okay. Okay. So, if you had to pick one, Austria, or Netherlands, who who are you picking? I'll go Netherlands. Netherlands. Okay. Okay. I'll well, listen to you and see if he lives up to the hype. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. But honestly, for me, yeah, Netherlands. I think they're gonna go true, 
and Ukraine, I don't think so because they always like they have like good. Okay, they're kind of like um, I'd say they're kind of like Germany where they have like such a good amount of, like of squads and stuff like that, but they just don't have like the chemistry. So I'm gonna have to go with Austria for the second place in that. So it, it'd be like that. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, Group E. Who are you thinking of? I'm thinking Spain. Spain? Okay. Yeah, they have a great squad coming up for the Euros, so yeah. I might believe it. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me there. And and then, who do you else do you think? I like Sweden, too. Sweden? Yeah, they just brought back Zlatan for the yeah. Euros. Yeah, ageless wonder. <laughs> the what? I said the ageless wonder. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that, too. For me, I would have to say Spain. <sighs> this is going to be hard because I'm either going to pick Poland or Sweden, because I Poland... In that too. What are you saying? I said I had the same dilemma. Because Poland has Lewandowski, but they don't have, you know, that much of a team, because a lot of their players are just aging, and <laughs> it's it's very hard to say. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to say Poland, honestly, because mm-hmm. they have, you know, they, I think they're, like, this one last year, oh, they'll get through it, but I don't, after that, I don't, I don't know. I can, I don't see them really getting that far in any competition, unless they have some young players, so you never know. All right, Group D, what, what are we thinking? I am thinking England will make it. England? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's, that, that just that makes sense. Even though they have, like, five right backs. Did you just see the squad? They have Reese James, uh, Kevin Trippier. They have uh, Re- um, Alexander Arnold in it. They have, like, three right backs. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. But, hey, it's, it's, they can do whatever they want, honestly. They're England. Mm-hmm. And who, who are you thinking for the, the second place? Well, my head would say Croatia, but I'm part Czech, so I'm gonna go with Czech Republic. Right? Really? The upset. Yep. All right, all right. Czech Republic. It, I didn't know you're part Czech. Can you say some words in Czech, please? Not right now. Okay, I'm sorry to offend you. Fine okay. Too <laughs> okay. Okay. So for me, I will pick England first, and I want to say Croatia, but I really want to say Croatia because they have such an amazing squad. They, I mean. I don't want to say amazing. They have a great midfield. I, I'd say like that. They have a uh, Perisic. They mm-hmm. have um, I don't know if Mandzukic got called up, but they have uh, what's his name Kovacic, who just won the Champions League final with Chelsea. God bless. And they have Madrid, and they have a uh, Ilic. I mean, they have a good squad, but I want to say Scotland, but I then again, okay, I'm gonna have to say Croatia honestly because. They, they they did so good in um, 2018, the World Cup, and I, I see them living up to their potential this Euros, but they're getting old again. Like I said, Scotland has a great young squad, so I it's going to be a tough group. It's honestly going to – I'll say all these squads – I mean, all these um groups are kind of going to be tough, at least for, like, the three of them. Not where there's, like, North Macedonia or there's, like, you know, S- Slovakia. But then again, Slovakia does have some good players. So I don't know. Okay, let's move on to Group F. Who are you thinking is going to make out first? This is the this is the big thing. I'm going to go with France. France? Okay. They ha- they are probably the the favorites to win the tournament, I'm guessing, because they have such a freaking good squad. Holy crap. Mm-hmm. Even the, their under-21 squad, I mean, squad is amazing. They just played yesterday, and, like, they're, they have um, – there's two center backs that are up on Kangwo, Who's like the guy from RB Leipzig? I think he's going to Bayern, but I might be wrong. Mm-hmm. And they also have Konate for yeah. their yeah. So those two are like an amazing pairing for just their under twenty ones. It's crazy. Yeah. So who are you thinking for the second? Then I'm going Germany over Portugal. As I was close. Really? Yeah. Okay. So no Ronaldo, no party, I guess. I guess not. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to agree with the France. And I want to say Germany. I really want to say Germany. I, uh, because they have Timo, Kai, Rudiger there. I, I just, I'm just wondering if they lack the chemistry because honestly, watching them in the World Cup, they were, no, they, like, they had no chemistry whatsoever. That's what basically lost them the, the World Cup. I mean, they didn't even make it out of the finals, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to have to say Portugal because they actually have like a younger squad and they played together longer at least than most of the German squad. So that's just, that's just my, my, my little uh, prediction right there. Okay. So, okay. Out of all these teams, Xander, who do you think is going to win? Obviously Czech Republic. Uh, are, are you sure? Right. 
<laughs> things have happened. Okay, okay. Let me let me say this. Who do you think the sec like who do you think is gonna be in the final? Czech Republic and who else? Uh, I, okay, I, I was just kidding with Czech Republic. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank it'd you. be a cool story, but I don't I don't know if I can fully support that. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I'll go with France. France, okay. That's I mean the the, the favorites and stuff. So yeah, mm-hmm. who do you think is gonna be in the fi- final with them at least then? And then I'm in a good team. I know, right? <laughs> you know what? Uh, let's do England. You would? Okay. Uh, do you think yeah. it's going to come home? <laughs> uh, I don't think it will, though. Yeah. I think it, they like to go far, get everyone's hopes up, and then inevitably fail. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's just England. Poor, <sighs> poor England, honestly. Poor England. Okay. Well, let's move on to the Copa America. This will be a nice little quickie quick because it's only two groups. Brazil, Group A, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Venezuela. Argentina, and Group B, Bolivia, Chile, and Paraguay, Uruguay. Who do you think are the favorites to like make it out? And I think, if I'm not correct, I, I, I feel like I'm going to get this terribly wrong. I think four teams advance out of this group, but I might be terribly wrong. No, 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 I think six teams. Okay, you know what? I'm making up my own uh, thing. Who, who, what three teams do you think are going to make it out of a Group A? <laughs> Let me just get your input on that. A, I'd have to go Brazil and Colombia for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then, I'd go with Peru. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're we are predicting the Copa America. We just predict the Euros. We're on the extra time show right now. Everybody, welcome Abid. Abid, welcome everybody. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Who do you Sorry think? What do you say? Sorry for the late joining. No, it's fine. It's fine. Who do you think is gonna win the? Okay. Let me let me just get your um. Because we were just talking about the Copa America. Who do you think's um going to make it out of the, the three? Do you know how the Copa America works, by the way? Yeah, so from these groups, you're going to take the four, the best four. four. Okay, okay. So, so like, everybody is going to be qualifying because uh, there were supposed to be two more countries, Qatar and Australia. Yeah, I heard about but, that. That's just weird, honestly. But because of COVID, uh, they backed off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, who do you think's like? Okay, let's say the top three out of each group. Who do you think's gonna be the top three out of Group A? Well, the thing is, the Copa America is gonna might even be canceled. Really? Oh, because Brazil's COVID cases, right? Uh, it was supposed to be in Argentina and Colombia, and they moved it to Brazil, and they moved it to only Argentina, and then they moved it to Brazil. But even now with Brazil, yeah, the COVID cases are insane over there. I know. <laughs> talking about Qatar, yeah. might be. The one who's gonna host their Copa America. That's that's weird. That's weird. That's so weird. <laughs> it is weird, but I mean, hey, if that's gonna happen, I will book my tickets right yeah. now. Okay, let me get your. Okay, who do you think? Like, uh, three teams. Brazil, gonna... Colombia. Brazil, Colombia. Brazil, yeah. Colombia, Peru. I would Peru? say. Okay. Yeah, it's fair. Okay, I'm gonna say Brazil, Colombia, and I'm going for Ecuador. Underdogs. You you have to go with them, honestly. Okay, Group B. Who, who, Xander, who are we saying for Group B? Argentina, Uruguay, and then I'd go Chile. Chile? Yep. Yeah, that's your nickname, actually, so that's kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, up and what, what are we thinking? What, what, what's your... Yeah, Xander. Really? Yeah, I mean, it will be a surprise if <laughs> Paraguay is going to... I mean, you're talking only like top three, so yeah. you're going to say Paraguay is going to uh, qualify, and also Ecuador is going to qualify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's really with Copa America. You might just ask who's gonna win it. Okay, yeah, I know that. That's gonna be my next question, Xander. Who do you think is gonna win the Copa America? Brazil. Brazil. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, Abe, what are you thinking? Can't disagree with him. You think Brazil's gonna win too? If it's gonna be hosted in Brazil, they're definitely gonna win that. Okay. I okay. Mean, I want to say Brazil, but I, I'm thinking Argentina might pull it off by some graceful. I- just to give you something from history, Brazil hosted the Copa America five times. They never lost that title. Yep. And I'm going for Argentina because imagine the upset that would cause in Brazil. Oh, my gosh. It would be like a, basically like the Munich versus Chelsea final. It would be like I, silencing I, the whole stadium. I mean, honestly, I don't see that happening. I, I mean, hey, I would love to see Messi winning that. But comparing yeah. squads, Brazil is just unstoppable. I mean, they won the last Copa without even Neymar playing. Mm. 
That's really that's crazy. That's just yeah. crazy right there. Neymar didn't even play, and they beat Argentina easily and all that. So uh, I okay. can't say Argentina. Okay. okay, let me get your your quick um, input up on this. Who do you think is gonna win the the Euros this year? France. France. Okay, well. France top contenders easily. I, yeah, I don't know why I even asked. I had to ask that honestly. And honestly, guys. Honestly, guys. Um, what's his name? Sergio Aguero just moved to Barcelona. What are your thoughts on that? What? <sighs> And also Eric Garcia. And Eric Garcia, yes, yes. Where do you move from again? City. So City. we got oh, two great. people yeah. from City. Yeah. Do you think he's going to do good over there in Man City? Or do you think, I mean, no, <laughs> at Barcelona? Or do you think um, Aguero's going to, you know, be like the guard well, of Luis Suarez? It depends, it depends on your expectations from Aguero. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, if you're going to think that he's going to be, you know, the next Suarez in Barca, he's going to be the one that's going to start all the games, then you're going to be disappointed. Yep. yep. He, he is someone who's going to come for free. Yeah. I mean, probably just paying his salary. I mean, we needed a finisher. Yeah. If he was fit, I mean, it's going to be a great signing. If he wasn't, then at least, you know, like, we didn't lose a lot of money on him. Yeah. yeah it's going mean, to be like Cavani. It's gonna, I think it's going to be like Cavani signing. To- yeah. Yeah. I mean, between Messi and Aguero, you already have the connection. It's true. They are. They don't worry about him. Uh, roommates <laughs> in yeah. Argentina. They don't have to worry about him getting used to Messi or something like that. They're, it's already there. So yeah. he's going to be adapted, adapted easily to the style. Yeah, that's true. But okay. Is it Haaland? No, it's not Haaland in the end. So I think this is just like a temporary fix. Yeah. Okay, let's go to football means of the week. We are gonna. Oh, I just did a star. That's nice. Um, huh. I'm gonna. Let's see. The, okay, look at these football memes, by the way. Yeah, I've seen these before. <laughs> oh, I love the middle one. I'm sorry for your Manchester United, but yikes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! And then Conte destroying. Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, yeah. He he torn apart the 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 the, the, the whole midfield of. He covered all of them. So. Okay, let's see the last meme of the week, and um, I'm sure you both are gonna enjoy this. Me making. Fun oh, that player. Timo. <laughs> it says, <laughs> Werner even missed the badge. <laughs> he can't even. Play. Honestly, man, that was so funny. <laughs> no. but, but hey, he won the Champions League final, so what? What can we say about it? Like, well, he can always uh, uh, say thank you to Kai for doing that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And honestly, if it wasn't for Timo's run, he would um, Kai would have been covered because he brought out two defenders with his run. So which man, I feel like space. he is he is a smart guy and he's also like a good playmaker. Yeah, but he is, he is just not a finisher. He needs yeah. to work on that this summer. Like, like hopefully he you know does something for Germany this summer. Like, yeah, if he's gonna be like a lethal striker or when, especially when he's finishing, he's gonna be one of the greatest. Yep, I agree like, with that. But he is just not good at finishing. That's his main problem, and probably only problem. Yeah. Uh, well, these um, this summer is going to be interesting. Will we have a Copa America? I don't know. We never know. Will we have a European Championship? That's amazing. Group F. Oh my gosh, that's going to be like. like that's going to be the yep. the one that you need to watch all games, maybe okay. except the uh, maybe Hungary. I mean, they they might be the one who's going to stop some uh, France or Germany or Portugal. Honestly, yeah, Hungary, they have a great keeper. They have a uh, – what's his name? I forgot his name, but he's the keeper for RB Leipzig, and he's he's a great keeper. Oh, my gosh. So you never know what can happen. Honestly, it's the it's football. Beautiful. So, well, thank you for watching the, the Golden Goal. I was about to say the Blonde Goal Show. <laughs> the Golden Goal Show. Xander, thank you for joining, my friend. Of course. That was a lot of fun. Thank you. I, I yeah. can tell you're having fun. <laughs> nice to hear your voice too, Xander. Oh, yeah, me and you basically agreed on everything. So, glad to have that. Yeah. And uh, this has been the Golden Wheel Show Extra Time. Everybody, one love football? One love football. All right, one love football. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Xander. I got it. Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And this has been the Golden Goal Show. Bye-bye.